Hi there. Well, I'm starting this uh, holiday gift idea guide, my favorites. So I kind of wanted to just start in on um, paper first because paper is sort of essential. It's your medium. Um, Legion is having this sale right now where they're giving you a really cute box full of these little trial papers so you can try um, whichever you like um, and I suggest that and then um, B paper does these A5 size 6 by 9 inches uh, loose papers which is great for for beginners who um, you know, you don't want to intimidate an artist right away. You want to just give them a size that they can handle. And these would be good to just cut right in half and do smaller sizes. I do a lot of my works smaller size because I could just get it done quickly. And it's not intimidating to have this very large piece of paper to work on, which is really time consuming. So this is um, a really great paper. This is 140 pounds are um, 300 GSM and um, the other paper that's really versatile is this Yupo paper it's um, this is a medium weight and it's synthetic yeah so not, it nothing goes through it it's, it's a plastic sheet of paper with a little bit of uh, very fine tooth to it which catches your medium or whatever you're putting on it and I actually use this paper for um, mixing paints on when I just want to try another a set like a, this is a primary set I was trying out and I didn't want to use a whole palette I just wanted to try them out so this is really great paper to try stuff out on and it seems to take watercolor so if you wanted to do some watercolor on this paper you could so um, for the acrylic artist, um, you could use this paper as well. Um, oils, I would kind of stick to uh, Yupo. You could use oils on Yupo or um, canvas. I would just stick to canvas. Um, and you can find these little teeny little canvases for um, a little gift idea for an artist. Um, for more heavy, thicker bodied paints. So for acrylic, I would go with a heavy body Liquitex. This has sort of been my mainstay for a long time. Um, and of course there are others, but this is my favorite. So there's that. Um, and then for the watercolorist, there are lots of options, but, um, Let's see, I have so much on this table right now. Um, M. Graham & Co. is a really gorgeous paint. They use honey, so these paints stay nice and wet. Um, Windsor & Newton have come out with these sticks, and they work really well. Um, I can even use this page here to try stuff out on. And then... Um, for the beginner, I would use a Skechers Windsor Newton Cotman set. Or for the artist who's on the go and wants to do things outside, there's this uh, Windsor Newton Cotman Field Plus set where um, there's a little water bin in here. And these are two little. Uh, dirty and, and clean water and then you can just leave this here or put it aside. But this holds quite a bit of water and it comes with this really great little brush that's actually held up all this time and um, so I just keep it with it. But this holds down pretty nice and small which is the fun thing about all these gadgets. Just Primarily the gadgetry of them all is really cool. But this one's kind of old, so it's got some fading. But this has worked really well with me, and they still sell these. So this would be great for the beginner artist, as well as this smaller paper. 
for the more loose paints like this, um, find your person a really versatile uh, amount of palettes. Um, I just bought this set and I'm going to take all of these out and use this for um, paints that were handmade. Um, and so I have this, um, not this one, the other one, this one right here. I buy some paints from somebody in the UK and they do some really gorgeous paints. So I was thinking about transferring them here, but I'm noticing these wells are smaller than these. So we'll have to just figure it out. But I bought a couple of these just because if you have um, tubes, you could use these and it was only $6 and I'm, I'm literally just going to toss these paints or keep them in a baggie somewhere, I don't know. But I just thought this was great. These are little sets. They don't lay flat, but it would be just good to, to carry some paints or store them. So that's an idea. For the gouache artist, so gouache is a gouache is a watercolor, um, but they do crumble and dry up. So they they kind of do this. So I found that a bead sorter works really well. This one works really well. I'll leave links underneath in the description for all of this stuff. But for the traveling artist, this, this is really good um, to keep your paints in and it seals it shut. And if you wanted to have a smaller set, these pill boxes work great too. And then of course there's these little guys and this is actually from uh, Pen Holder UK. So I could even use this for something on the go to put those little guys in. But, um, yes, for the beginning artist, I would just choose um, a cotton and set, but if you're um, wanting to expand your uh, expertise and if you're a more seasoned artist, I would go with the, the uh, more expensive brands. And um, you could even buy someone um, a singles. So it's just nice to have a nicer, um, nicer brand. These are probably anywhere from seven to 10 US dollars. So um, they do get kind of pricey. Um, another alternative is to find um, some really nice uh, watercolor pencils and these work really nicely. They're really, um, these are um, Museum Aquarelle Carandrache uh, watercolor pencils and they're just really vibrant. You won't find a better watercolor pencil than these. So those are really nice. Um, and of course you're going to need a pencil or um, something to begin your draw um, drawing with. And I recommend um, this graphic gear which is great. It has an eraser on the end. It comes with refills and um, these pencils are pretty great. Um, they're pentallic and they have a little set from charcoal to soft to hard lead and I use these a bit. So there's that. Um, for erasers I really enjoy this Mono Zero from Tombow and it gets really, really um, tiny detail, but I just like um, the ability to erase fine lines or get really close. Like sometimes I, I will do, I will correct a line to make it more thin. And these are great too. These um, just get rid of the eraser junk. So I use this quite a lot. Um, other racers you can get are Arkham and this racer putty um, and more plastic erasers. These all work really well. 
Um, and you, if you're going to use pencils, I would get a really good um, uh, pencil sharpener. <laughs> it took me a minute. And um, you just have a little travel pack for them to. So really great idea is just to start out, just pile, pile a bunch of this stuff into a little uh, pencil case. And this art bin works great. Um, as well as this one, which is a great separator of sorts. You can put your pencils here. It has a little divider. I use this one a lot when I'm traveling. Or if you, for the snazzier folks, they can use something like this, which is just a single pouch. And of course, I'll leave links to all this stuff. Um, let's see. So we're off pencils. Um, and throw in a really nice brush. This one's $10. It's a Cotman um, Winsor & Newton brush. And a uh, size 6. And it's really universal because it's around. And um, it's a favorite of mine, so I picked up another one just recently. Um... So a good assortment of brushes would be a round and a larger brush for washes for all over your um, all over your page and a small little um, liner, which is nice for a little teeny tiny detail. This would be a, a two, but uh, a zero would be even better. And then um, a chisel or an angle brush. It's nice for detail. So all four of these would be really great for um, for a painting. And then, um, of course, a ruler is always handy. <laughs> I always keep one on, um, available. And to mix paints, um, I really enjoy anything ceramic or porcelain. Um, so if you find something like this, grab one and throw it in your little gift box for your artist and this is silly but um, it's become really useful I feed my cats this and I just wash them and I use these and then I toss them if it becomes stained so I'm literally only spending like I don't know a buck or something for this stuff so that's an idea and the other thing I like is um, these clear candle holders are nice mix paints on and um, liners which are um, waterproof uh, line liners and the micron is the mainstay everybody buys a micron well not everybody but I do um, and I've found that this fabric cast out echo pigment pen is nice also um, 0.5, or 0.5 is actually really good, and um, a smaller would be the um, 0.3, it's actually kind of the perfect size, and this is a Copic um, refillable, so you just pop this out and refill the ink, which is nice. This is a um, watercolor marker by Winsor & Newton, and they're water soluble, so um, they have a brush pen, brush um, nib on one side and a bullet on the other. And this is kind of a brown color, so these would be nice for um, um, just a base sketch or just any sketch. And these are their Pentel um, aqua paint brushes where you can refill them with water watercolor brushes and another thing I like is I don't know that you can find this anywhere but this is really great for re-wetting for people that are on the go um, this is actually whoops for um, hand sanitizer but I've actually turned it into just using it with my Cotman when I'm on the go so I can wet my paints real quick um, this comes with a brush too, but I, it's a really cute one too. It's metal and it, it, um, it has an extender on it. I can't find it, but okay. So there's these and for 
Highlighting, of course, the Uniball Signo Broad. This is really good for highlighting. Um, little tiny details like gloss on the lips or shine in the eyes. Okay, so the other things are our tapes. This washi tape is really nice. It's a Scotch brand. And this is Painter's uh, Tape, which is great for keeping your pages flat while as you work. And of course, every artist needs an X-Acto knife and a, and a nice pair of scissors, nice sharp pair of scissors. And brush cleaners are really nice. These this is a little mini one. So if your brush gets gunky, you just pour some water in there and swirl it around. And then rinse off your brush. And you're good to go. Other items I like just personally are um, a good hand dry skin lotion. And this is the one that I use. Works really nice. And um, I always have a nice smelly candle on. I go to Yankee Candle um, and I buy a bunch of their votives. And just having this here it smells up the place. But having it lit is just a nice... Um, something for uh, a nice mood in the room to help you kind of calm and zen. Um, uh, this is a pencil sharpener if anybody wanted to know. Um, this is sandpaper to sharpen the lead of your pencil. I barely ever use these, but I have one on hand just in case. But um, other tools are um, this water bin. It's really great. I've had it for many, many years comes with a lid it's called a um, Lowell Canal brush tub and it holds your brushes and there's a, a cool side and a warm side here or however you want your setup and I use it all the time and I also use a, a multi bin to sort my brushes and pens and just these are all really good ideas to um, for beginner and for the more seasoned artist. And if you're a digital artist um, and you have an iPad or something, these actually work pretty well and are universal. This is the pencil, the fi pencil by uh, 53 by pencil. Oh, I'm sorry, the pencil by 53, <clears throat> and um, it has an eraser side. Oh. There we go. Oops, I can't get it out. But anyway, here's the um, the t tip, and here's the eraser side, and it comes with an extra to refill. And I wouldn't say that this is great with Bluetooth, but this is uh, feels good in the hand, and um, it's great for um, sketching. The app that I use is Procreate app for artists on um, the iOS. Um, and then this is actually even better than this because it gives you a couple buttons for erase and redo. Um, and I found that this is probably better than this guy if you're doing anything digital. And it plugs right into your laptop and you can um, stick it on the end and it charges it up. And I find that you don't have to charge it very often. I have, haven't charged it in like a year. It still works. So these are good for the digital artist. Um, I would say these are kind of all personal items. And the person that you're buying for is going to like it or not. And you're giving it your best shot. But I find that these are all my favorites. And I hope somebody else will find them good too. So... You're gonna see a lot of links underneath. Um, um, hopefully you're seeing them, uh, the correct prices for these. You know? But thought I'd throw this out there and sorry about this mess, but I kind of wanted to show everything. So thanks for hanging with me and I'll see you again next time.